When women started twerking on tables in a Texas restaurant, the owner of the establishment went off. His rant was captured on video and posted to social media, where it received both praise and backlash. Which do you think it deserved? Kevin Kelly, the owner of True Kitchen Plus Cocktails in Dallas, Texas, was left disgusted with the behavior of some of his restaurant's patrons on a Sunday evening. In fact, Kelly became so fed up, he cut the music and began scolding a room full of customers in a now viral video after some ladies decided to get on the furniture and start twerking. According to Kelly, several women had gotten on a tables and began twerking against a glass wall placed in one area of the restaurant. He approached the women involved, telling them to stop, but they only returned to dancing again. In footage shared on social media, a woman is seen placing her hands against the wall as she danced to the upbeat music playing in the background. That's when Kelly had enough. With cameras rolling, an obviously upset Kevin Kelly confronted his restaurant patrons, lecturing them for their lack of class. I invested a lot of money into buying this building and developing this concept so black people can have somewhere nice to go to. The black restaurant owner began, raising his voice at the crowd. Somewhere we can feel good about ourselves, he continued. Stop the music. Kelly then shouted, silencing the DJ. With all attention on him, the owner continued, demanding the ladies show some respect for themselves. Real talk. All this twerking. Don't bring it here because we're a restaurant, Kelly said, explaining that 75% of his clientele are women, he added. I want men to show respect for themselves and how they carry themselves when they're here. How can I tell men to respect themselves when you all are twerking on glass? If you want to do that, then get the F bit out of my restaurant because I did it for ourselves and I did it for our culture," Kelly said. Although the crowd is heard gasping at the man's remarks, he continued, "'Don't do it again. I don't want to hear it. If you don't like it, get out because I don't need your money.'" Things were far from over though. With the incident captured on camera and shared to social media, the viral moment drew both Kelly and his restaurant into a media frenzy as he received both praise and backlash for his response to the behavior. Show respect or get out. Is that really a controversial statement? Apparently, it was as people took to Twitter to debate the confrontation. While some faulted the twerking patrons for their behavior, others pointed blame at Kelly for his part in picking the music, and then there were those who lambasted such rationalizations. The excuses are that if a restaurant doesn't want patrons to hop on furniture and twerk against the walls, then they shouldn't serve alcohol or play music. He's not wrong. As a restaurant owner, he wants a specific ambience. Twerking is not it. He gave them choices to freely express themselves, but please respect his establishment, his investment, and take the antics to the appropriate places. That's Business 101, another wrote, agreeing with Kelly's message according to Daily Mail. Of course, not everyone was supportive. How you mad at women twerking in your restaurant while having a DJ playing body by Meg the Stallion in full blast in your establishment. Comedian Jesse Wu chimed in, blasting the black restaurant owner for his music choice if twerking wasn't allowed in his restaurant. Doesn't matter if the DJ was playing that type of music. Have some class sit and eat like a normal person. People always doing bad things to be seen. Another responded, coming to Kelly's defense, while others claimed they didn't have a problem with Kelly's request, but rather his delivery. His disrespectful tone to the women, who are paying customers, isn't right. He set the tone for his restaurant with a DJ, so this is on him. One woman wrote, In a statement the day after the incident, Kelly addressed his delivery saying, I can assure you I was a gentleman earlier, but my nice words weren't respected. True will be for some and not all and this is okay. Explaining that the issue revolved around three tables of customers who continued to twerk after being approached by him. He said True was created to be a place where music could be enjoyed while customers sit and eat. No song played is an excuse to stand on our furniture and do what this lady did, Kelly wrote, referring to the woman captured on camera. Speaking with TMZ, Kelly said he didn't have anything against twerking, but he did not want it in his establishment. We have so many classy and nice black women who come to this restaurant that define what True Kitchen Plus Cocktails is, and the actions of the women standing on the sofa and pushing on the glass to twerk is not that, Kelly said. 
When we talk about advancing the culture, I'm mindful of how we all look, he added. I'm very steadfast in making sure our guests carry themselves in the right way of this restaurant. That seems to be at the root of the debate. What encapsulates the right way to act in a restaurant? What defines classy behavior? Most would say that standing on tables, shaking your backside, is far from it. While some have called Kelly's rant restaurant suicide, others might be more inclined to visit, knowing they aren't going to be forced to watch a spectacle while trying to enjoy a meal and music.